Thanks for staying with us. I'm Bill O'Reilly in the Miller Time segment tonight. Let's get right to the stage of Southern California. He's in New York City tonight. Look at him. Look at how dapper he is. Billy, Look I usually at stay you. down in Soho. Then yeah. I stay in Chelsea. This time I'm over at that uh, renovated red light district place, a uh, new neighborhood called no moho. No moho. And no moho. And then you have to dress like that in a very, you look cl almost clerical here. Thank you, Billy. I'm yeah. trying to look uh, like one of the sisters who raised you so well. <laughs> you got to wear some over your head, Miller, which would be an improvement. Okay, now, public policy po polling, PPP. And I'm going to read the questions and we'll put them on the screen and Miller is going to comment. Right, They're right. Unbelievable. Okay. First question this is to the American public. Do you believe that a secretive power elite with a globalist agenda is conspiring to eventually rule the world through an authoritarian world government or a new world order or not? 28% do believe that, and all of them know Glenn Beck. 46% do not believe it, but I love this. 25% of Americans aren't sure. That's because their brains have been scrubbed by their masters. Uh, listen, everybody thought it was going to be the Bilderberg group. It turns out it's the Bloomberg group. You know what I mean? The yeah, secret they're, society. They're too right? involved in our life. Can I believe this? Of course I can you believe can? this. I got Biden in the on deck circle. I can believe anything, for God's so, sake. At this point, I would take flatulent death robots from space uh, to, to rule me. But why? Are, this is my question. Why are you and I not in the secretive elite rulers? We should be there. Uh, the one percent. You got to be in the ninety-nine percent to be governor, okay. Billy. We're we're outside. All right. So uh, this is unbelievable. Uh, more people believe there may be a secretive power elite governing the world than do not believe that. Second question: Lee Harvey Oswald did he act alone in killing President Kennedy, or was there some larger conspiracy? Uh, acted alone, twenty-five. Larger conspiracy, fifty-one. Not sure, twenty-four. So again, it's almost 50-50, and of course I wrote Killing Kennedy, and, and Oswald, I know all about him. There was a couple of things I couldn't answer, so I would probably put myself in the not sure here, because there are a couple of things, I, after years, I still can't answer about that assassination. I've read a lot on it too, Billy. I think Oswald had an accomplice, and I think his name is Martin Dugard. <laughs> That's my co-op. Oh, I'm sorry, I got all confused. Yeah, you can't, Listen, you can't not do only that. do I think Oswald shot Kennedy, I think he shot Lincoln. I think he shot Garfield. I think he shot McKinley. I think he, no, he gave. No, he couldn't. He would be too old. Oh, he couldn't do that. I think he gave Zachary Taylor gastroenteritis. I think he gave William Henry Harrison acute pneumonia. I think he gave Effort Dr. A cerebral hemorrhage, and I think he caused Warren Harding's heart attack. I think he shot J.R. Ewing, and I think he might have knocked up January Jones from that. Okay, Madden. so we're going to put you in yeah, the not busy. sure category. <laughs> Busy. The guy was busy. Here's the third question. Do you believe, and this is a legitimate poll, ladies and gentlemen, do you believe media, the government, adds secret mind controlling technology to television broadcast signals? Do you believe that? 15% say yes, there are the secret come, things coming in your living room. 70% say no, no, they don't, and not sure, 15%. Now, I, I think when you take into account MSNBC that there might be something to this question. I definitely believe they exist. They're called commercials. Yeah, right. I mean, secret. EDDs like Tic Tac, I don't even want them. So secret mind control. Yeah, you know? yeah, of course. Uh, you yeah. know, they put that thing where they make the desert and then they flash the Coke sign. Remember mm -hmm. that years yeah. ago? Yeah, sure. So I, what I does that do? Make you thirsty or want to move to the desert? No, oh, and maybe go see Lawrence of Arabia again. Okay. <laughs> well, that's good for the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, this is my favorite question of the poll. Do you believe Paul McCartney actually died in a car crash in 1966 and was secret re replaced by a lookalike so the Beatles could continue? Five percent do believe that he was killed. Not sure, 14 percent. So that means 19 percent. Yeah. No, and do not believe 80 percent. Now, no. was McCartney, is this an alien pot person that was replaced? No, by there's him? nobody no. else who could be in the Beatles except those four. That's what made them the Beatles. But I do think Jerry and the Pacemakers were put here to eventually inhabit Dick Cheney's heart. <laughs> and that, that's my conspiracy theory. Uh, they were planted way back in the early 60s. Jerry, and the Jerry backed up. The Pacemakers ended up in Cheney's See, I disagree. Cavity. I think it was Freddie and the Dreamers. <laughs> well, okay. They were the group that were put on. All right, final question. <clears throat> do you believe... <laughs> do you believe... That shape-shifting reptilian people control our world by taking on human form and gaining political power to manipulate our societies, or not. <laughs> I love that, or not. So, 4% do believe there are shape-shifting reptilian people, and 7% aren't sure. That's 11% of the American population think maybe there's some reptiles that are uh, influencing our lives. <laughs>
Are you surprised there are this many crazy people in the world? That hurt. Billy, come on. There are days I watch the news, I don't leave my house. <laughs> this is just the skim on the surface, baby. It is nutsville out there. You know that, uh, huh? All right. Just take me in your bunker. I know you built one out there in Levittown. I don't have a bunker. Everybody's bunker looks like everybody my else's bunker. My pal has like 16 all over the place. And Beck Beck's has, got a catacomb. Yeah, he has a reptilian person <laughs> with a line through it. All right? So I'm not going to tease yeah. Beck. I don't want to end up on all that right, black We're going to carry Miller over for another 30 seconds because I want to roll, roll this clip and Miller will react. Go. What do we got? How many are going to spot me on a one-on-one -on -one game, huh? Because uh, I think game I Game to 11? Yeah. I'd spot you 10. All right, you spot me ten. Hey, that's pretty cocky. All right, there you go. Hey, he still hasn't played me. That was like what, three, four years ago? What is that? Come on, I'm ready to go. He's better at shooting than he is picking winners in the green job category. Is that right? You know what I mean? He's really bad with green investments. Two for twenty-two. Yeah. Well, let's start tax and miss shots. We'll all be flush. How's that? We solved the whole thing right there. What you didn't see? That was at the Easter egg hunt. Yeah. Biden is right off camera playing pin the tail on himself. So you missed that. I'm ready, Mr. President. President, I'm ready to go on that game. He spots me 10. Dennis Miller, everybody, and we would both like to thank everybody.